physicality. The D, there it is, turning it over. Now the three, the four on three break. Cherry over to the wing, and the three pointer is good. And look at that, good things happen. Three point attempt. Oh boy, threes have been big. Such a crucial aspect to this game. Crucial aspect to any game, in fact. Now the three-point shot, good! Well, done. if he's done anything tonight, it's been that. Reason after their turnover, but again, done. Full meter. Here's Whitehead, back outside. And the three-pointer drops the fifth of the game for Dunn. So Dunn hitting his fifth three-pointer of the game. And this is where, he, again, I just feel like M. Hoppe really need to get a good shot, but they're going to put it up from three-point range, and what do I know? Another one falls. Justin Johnson, who's uh, plus 14, but uh, without question, he has been the player of the game. Let's just throw that out there. But maybe the biggest reason why has been the way that M. Hoppe has uh, dictated the game, the style of the game, and another three-pointer from Dunn. Okay, it's for M. Hoppe. Are they going to continue to take it? The ball would not go down. It rimmed out on a layup attempt. And then quickly, the three-pointer, and Dunn strikes again. Dunn is just having himself a game. Again, they swing it. Polos Portolo over to Dunn. Could it be? Will it be? Yes, it will. Number nine. Literally sensational night. Look at this. No.